How's it going lads? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today what I've got for you is some Division Rivals Rank 1 rewards. Now, we have Rank 1 on my account. I have got Division 3 Rank 1, I want to say, or Division 4 Rank 1. Not entirely sure, but as you see, they just became available right this second. Now, we also have Simon's account rewards and Jim Real Estate rewards as well. We'll go ahead and open all three in this video. And if you guys didn't know, Foot Champs rewards got changed now to 8 a.m. UK time. They come out literally in an hour and five minutes from right now when I'm recording. This is at 6.55 a.m. They now go out at 8 a.m. I don't know why. It's really strange, and I'm not entirely sure I'm a big fan of it either. Uh, but that's when they go out now, so make sure you look out on the channel in a couple of hours' time for Foot Champs rewards as well, because we have Gold 1 for my account. We have Elite 1 for Simon's account. Uh, so make sure you are on the lookout for that. So here we have our uh, Foot Champion, sorry, our Division Rivals Rank 1 rewards, uh, as you see on the screen. Uh, we did get rank one for uh, division four. So we get two prime gold plays packs, two 50k packs and two 35k packs untradeable. And hopefully we can get something good from these rewards. I'm super excited to open them. As you see, rank one in division rivals, which is really exciting. And there are the packs we get. We also get 240 foot champions qualification points. So let's jump straight into it and open these packs. I'm really excited to open them because I really hope I can get something good. We're going to start, of course, with the mega packs as we usually do. Hopefully we can get something decent from any of these packs. That would be great. I will show you guys my my team. I meant to show you my team actually first because I want to try and upgrade my team in certain points um, and if I can get anything luckily or maybe get some decent rewards later then I can definitely upgrade the team but maybe not. We are sat at about 120,000 coins on the account right now so we've got a decent amount of coins and the first pack just was not very good actually. Is Moutinho tradable? He is. We get 600 coins uh, for Moutinho so I guess we'll take the 600 coins for him uh, and let's go ahead and open the next mega pack. Gornier, hook us up. Let's see what we can get from this. It's not going to be a walkout. Can we at least get a board drop from it? It's going to be a board drop. I could tell by the way it like moved out. Ooh, Manalas. Nope, Socrates. Nope, what? Yeah, Socrates. Every time I say Socrates, I think of the icon. And I forget that the Greek guy is actually called Socrates. But yeah, we got Socrates. It's not bad actually, to be fair. It's a decent pull. Uh, happily take that and uh, and we'll, uh, we'll hopefully... Yes, we did. I was going to say, we'll hopefully get a couple of the board drops. And we did. We got ourselves uh, Banega, Nacho Fernandez. That's decent. Good for SBCs. Of course, we have the Premier League Player of the Month coming out in the next couple of weeks, I believe. So, um, yeah, the 84s in the Premier will be really nice for that. Now, before we get into the big packs, this is what the team is currently looking like. Um, in terms of upgrades, honestly... The only upgrade I would like to make, realistically, would be to get an Icon Center Mid instead of Pjanic, because I, I move Matuidi and Pjanic in-game, so uh, Matuidi is a CDM. Ideally, just an Icon Center Mid there, and, and the team would be absolutely fantastic, or maybe, yeah, maybe just that, that's about it, honestly. The team would be pretty much perfect after that, so hopefully, you know, we can get a decent amount of coins over the next couple of weeks for rewards um and we'll see what we can do obviously with the coins we get from weekend league rewards uh, and if we just get unbelievably lucky uh we'll see what we can do though so we do get another board drop it's going to be a spanish center mid it's going to be uh Ilira Mendy. 84 rated again not too shabby we'll take the 84s because they're always uh they're always useful they're always pretty decent and we get an 82 dembele there as well not bad uh and all the non-res and res will be useful eventually for some kind of spc some form down the line we'll we'll have to see it eventually and you know we'll figure it out when they do become available but they will they will become useful at some point it's not going to be a board drop in the second one sadly it's going to be um small of from uh, from locomotive so not really the best pack there sadly and it's probably going to be yeah just terrible plays really just get a duplicate and tradable arias uh but we do have the 250k packs now so hopefully we can get something good from one of these go on ea it took you know it was a bit of grinding to get rank one this this week it was a bit of grinding i did work quite hard to get rank one as we do get a board drop in the first one it's going to be italian goalkeeper perrin yeah, not really feeling it. Not really feeling it. Not great. Um, not really worth it at the minute. Hopefully, we can get something big from the second 50k pack. Not entirely sure what I've been expecting or hoping for, but anything. Literally anything decent. Any walkout would be fantastic. So, uh, let's see what we can get. Come on. Second 50k pack. For getting rank 1, Div 4. It's not going to be a walkout, sadly. So, no walkouts from my rank 1 rewards from this week. 
Uh, it's going to be a Portuguese goalkeeper. It's going to be Rui Patricio. Not great at all, sadly. So uh, disappointing rewards for me this week. Uh, just not great. Um, some very disappointing packs there. And uh, I guess we'll move on to Simon's account and see what we can get from Simon's. On to Simon's account now. Now, we do have some very exciting uh, rewards for Simon later on in Foot Champs uh, because I think he went 28 and 2. But we have rank three division two rewards which gives us four 50k packs and two mega packs again the reward system is actually broken in in division two for some reason you get better rewards for getting rank three and literally just not playing than you do for anything else um so uh luckily we do get ourselves the better rewards the the, the broken rewards i guess so uh let's go ahead with the uh, with the mega pack first oh my god it's a walkout simon's account is so rigged why is his account so rigged this is stupid croatian left mid perisic why couldn't that have been my account? Why couldn't I have got that on my account? This is this happens every week. I'm very happy for Simon, but this happens every single week, man. I mean, it's dope, don't get me wrong, but it happens every week. He just always gets the walkouts, and I get absolutely nothing. And that's from just a 35k pack. We've got four 50k packs there as well to open, so... Wow, that's just that that just always seems to happen. It's so frustrating, but uh, he gets nothing in the second 35k pack. Sadly, maybe we get some decent walkouts and stuff like that from the 50k pack to see if his were any better than mine. Of course, he gets double the amount, so it should be double the amount of players. No, should be double the value. Of, I don't even know what I'm trying to say, honestly. It's 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 early. I'm super tired, uh, and the first one is not going to be a walkout, which makes me even more tired because. It's just not waking me up with a walkout. It's going to be not Van Dyke, as always. Has anyone packed Van Dyke on this game? It seems like he's the most non-existent player to pack on the game. I've, I've not packed a Van Dyke yet. I always pack De Vries. It's always De Vries. It's so annoying. Wow, 384 from that pack is actually really solid for an untradeable pack. That's really decent. We'll take that. So, uh, 350k packs left on Simon's account. Let's go. What are we going to get? What are we going to get? Anything decent? Not a walkout in the second one. It's going to be a board drop. You can tell from how long it takes to open the pack. It takes a little bit longer for board drops. It's going to be Edin Dzeko. 85 rated, still good. It's great SBC cannon fodder. So anything like 84, 85 is always decent. Make sure that you are storing those in the club and uh, and potentially using those when new SBCs come out. So uh, not too shabby. We've got a Chucky Elizano there as well. And a Bendetto with a Zahavi. Not, uh, not amazing there. We've got two more 50k packs left. Can we get a walkout from one of these? Let's see. Let's see. It's not going to be a walkout in the second to last pack. It's going to be a board drop, though. It's going to be a French striker, Lacazette. Not bad, actually. I think Lacazette still holds quite a bit of a value. If I'm not wrong, Lacazette still holds a little bit of value in this game. Uh, let me actually quickly have a look. Um, well, he's like 6,000 coins. At one point, he was like 15, 20k, so... But yeah, he's about 6,000 coins now. But again, another 84 rated Premier League player. Always de uh, decent to get. All right, we've got the last pack though. Last 50k pack. Let's see if we can get anything good from this one. Here we go. Last 50k pack. Is it going to be good EA? It's not going to be a walkout in the last 50k pack, sadly. It will be a board drop. I can tell just from the, how long the pack takes. It's going to be... Oh, damn. That's not bad actually at all. Mares. That's a solid pull. I think he holds a value. So that... He's decent, and I think he's done really well from rewards this week. A few 85s, a couple 84s, uh, a walkout in Perisic as well. Very decent rewards. I cannot complain there at all. Uh, yeah, Mares does hold a bit of a value there as well. He got Lucas Leiva in the same pack. Sick. Actually, really, really good. So, uh, Simon's done really well, as he always does. Simon always does really, really well. Uh, but let's go ahead and go on to Jim's real estate account. On to Jim's real estate account now. We got rank two rewards, which gives us two mega packs and two 50,000 coin packs, which again are just some decent rewards to open up to round off the video, you know. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and start with one of the mega packs. If he gets a walkout in one of these, I'm going to be so triggered because it's like I just opened them on my account and got absolutely nothing. And then Simon and Jim would have got a walkout in theirs. It's like, was it worth the time? But he does get Robertson. Not a bad starter player there for a Premier League team. Um, decent there, not going to lie. So, uh, and he already has them as well. Is it tradable? I wonder if it's tradable. Oh, it is tradable, actually, I think. No, it's not. Okay. Um, probably best to discard the one without a shadow card on because shadow cards are actually actually hold value. So, second mega pack now. Let's see if we can get anything good in this one. Uh, no walkout again. Board drop, at least. No, no board. It's going to be a Spanish cam. It's going to be Borja Valero. 
not great. Not great, actually. Very, very, very poor. Very poor there. Uh, we'll go ahead and just store all that and discard the Egyptian kit. Now to the 250k players packs. Let's see if we can get anything good in one of these. I got absolutely nothing. So, first one is going to be a non-walkout. It's, it's going to be a board, though. It's going to be Croatian center mid. Who? Oh, not bad, actually. Milinkovic Savic. Not actually a bad card. <clears throat> not a bad card at all. I keep choking on, like, I don't even know what I'm choking on, like, air. So much going wrong with me. My body's malfunctioning. That's actually a really solid pack. Couple of 83s in there, too. Got, I saw a Hulk in there as well. Not too shabby. Decent pulls. Decent pulls. 85 Milinkovic Savage is a good one to get. We'll go ahead and discard Andy King and Borja Valera because they're untradeable. Let's see if we can get anything good from the last 50k pack. Is it going to be a walkout, EA? It is going to be a walkout. It's going to be a walkout. Here we go. What's it going to be? Something huge. Come on. Brazilian. Left back. Alex Sandro. That is huge. That is fantastic. That is absolutely huge. And the reason I say it's huge, let me quickly tell you what his price is, first of all. It's 100k plus player right there. First of all, that is huge. Second of all, he is so incredibly good on this game. He will be endgame for a long time. He will be used in so many teams. I guarantee Jim's Real Estate will be using him in most of his teams, not all of his teams. That is an incredible card. He's fantastic, and he's definitely going to be in a lot of teams. I think that's just huge. I think it's absolutely fantastic. Huge walkout right there. No shadow of a doubt. Is there anything else decent in the pack? There's not, but that is fantastic. So uh, I'm very happy for Jim there because I use Alexandro, and he's absolutely incredible. So great pull there. We'll go ahead and discard G G Gabambin. I don't even know. So make sure you stick around because in like a couple hours, we're going to have weekly rewards. Not going to lie. I haven't slept yet. I've, so if I'm stuttering, I apologize. Me, Nepenthes, Nick2080, A9 Skills, and a couple others were just up all night just talking and, and you know, whatnot. So uh, I apologize if I'm a little bit tired. You can blame them for keeping me up all night. But, uh, but yeah, we'll be back in a couple hours with weekly rewards. Make sure you stick around with that. Thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And I'll see you lads later.